Hello, everybody. This is Stu with PrepAgent.com. Today, I'm coming to you with five tips that students that I worked with across the country wish that they knew before they started studying for the real estate exam. Now, you want to stay for that number one tip because it's one that I tell to all my students and they all wish they had known. So let's jump right into it. Number five, have a plan. You guys need to have a plan. When you become real estate agents, planning is going to be so important. You need to start implementing that today in your studies. You need to make sure that you know what you're going to be doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You need to have some sort of guidance so that you could stick to it because having a plan is going to be good. It's going to be healthy because it'll allow you to really know what you could fit into it. And also, keep in mind, you want to have that plan that could be flexible. Now, number four, don't listen to everybody else. Everyone's different. I work with so many students in one-to-one basis, in large classroom format. And what I know about everybody is although we all have some things in common, we all learn very differently. So that's something that you might hear someone say, oh, I use this. And it was absolutely fantastic. And then you'll hear someone else say, oh, that didn't work for me. You should try different things and you should be open to different things. Now, what I'm going to tell you is this. It's not going to work for everybody. So if someone says, hey, I did flashcards and that was great. That was wonderful for me. Be open to the fact that that might be might not be your cup of tea. That might not be what makes you successful to help you pass the real estate exam. Number three, don't get discouraged. I see too many people out there watching people pass on their first try, and then it takes some people 19 tries. Don't worry. If you're someone who is a first shot, second shot, 15th attempt, doesn't matter. What I want you to know is you're a part of the uh, prep agent family. When you come on board, whether you're in one of our Facebook groups, whether you're one of our members and you're watching those premium webinars, whether you're jumping into some of the public free webinars that we throw out there, what I want to tell you is this. No matter how you're consuming the material that we share with you guys, you need to know that you're a part of a family that supports you. And here's the thing. Don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Now, number two, take breaks. Take a break day. That's so important. So many people don't take breaks. Take a break. Take a rest. If you're not feeling it, if you're not feeling like studying for an hour, two hours, whatever the case may be, make sure you build breaks into it. And also, Know when your brain is basically telling you, hey, we've had enough. We've had enough of this studying. We're going to be kaputskis. Make sure you build break days, break minutes into your studying. Even if you have to take, let's say you start studying and you planned on studying for two hours. And then all of a sudden you're like, you know what, half hour into it, you're like, I'm not feeling this. I'm not getting anywhere. That's going to be counterproductive if you continue to go forward with it. So make sure you build in breaks. Now, before I get to that number one tip, I want to tell you this. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit like, because we're doing a lot of great different things out here. There's a ton of free material here on the Prep Agent YouTube channel, but also keep in mind, we offer weekly webinars and we offer a lot of material over at prepagent.com. So make sure you head on over and check out what we have to offer for our members. Now, number one, Try different things. Seems so simple, yet a lot of people aren't open to it. So what I find a lot of students do is they'll start doing practice exams and they'll just kind of keep doing practice exams. I always tell all my students, be open, be open to different methods, be open to different ways that you could possibly start to study because this is something that's going to be beneficial to you because you might hit on something that really isn't something you normally would have went to, but all of a sudden you're like, oh wow, I really like that method. I really like doing flashcards. I really like the vocab worksheet. Be open to it. Treat it like the gym. I don't like the rowing machine at the gym. I still go on it because I know it's good for my belly. Okay, I know it's good for my body. So do things that you're not comfortable with. And guys, 
Remember, head on over to PrepAgent.com. We have a lot more material there. We have live webinars with instructors like myself and many others. And guys, have a great one and good luck.